So it is time to leave San Remo today. But first we need to take Charlie out for a walk and get some coffee and hopefully something to eat as well because I'm starving. Oh me too, I got this massive growling my tummy. Feels like In croissants, croissants. <laughs> Feels like our vlogs is mostly about us starving or eating. Yeah, but that's you know what we like to do so. But yeah, after that we're gonna start driving to Bellagio. And we can't wait to get there and show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, I think we need to stop sending me in to buy pastries and things because I can't control myself. First of all, I got us a second coffee. Then I got two vegan croissants. These ones, the black ones, that are so good. And he got a custard croissant and a pan chocolat. How do you say it? And then I got a focaccia that's Oh yeah, I can't show it to you, but it's like it's like a marinara focaccia. There's like tomato sauce, there's some garlic and olives. It looks really good. So now we got something for the road. So we're gonna start driving to Lake Como now and we will catch you guys there. One thing we're not gonna miss from Italy is how people drive here. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah, it is. We just came slowly driving down this road because it's quite narrow and tiny and slingery. <laughs> and uh, there was this car that came f in full speed in the middle of the road and then started flashing his lights and honking. Like, I don't know, we didn't do anything wrong. He was. He was, speeding. The one, he was the one that was speeding and in the middle of a narrow road so we barely fit through. Yeah, and I mean it's crazy. Oh well, we're at Lake Como now. I can't believe how beautiful it is and it's exactly the same colour as in the pictures which I find, I don't know, it's just amazing. It's so blue and like the waves are exactly like in the pictures they're so smooth and soft i don't know if you understand what i mean but we'll show you in a bit and you can have a look that's how i see it at least as blue and soft <laughs> it's probably ice cold this water this new place has got a garage inside of a garage so it's like double garage <laughs> No, it's really good. That means we can leave all our stuff in the car. We don't have to carry it. Don't show this. Back and forth. All right, so welcome to Like Come On. We're in Bellagio and we just checked in to this amazing flat. Like, I feel so relaxed just being here. We've got a little bathroom. Here's a, the main living area, it's a bit messy. I really love these chairs. Here's the kitchen, I'm just cooking a bit. We're starving and we are gonna eat in tonight. And here's a bedroom. Hi Charlie, hi Charlie. Let me tell you, this place actually exceeded our expectations. Like, we're right in the center of Bellagio and we got like this little private front terrace patio. or patio as the British woman would like to say here <laughs> and uh, yeah it's actually we're next door to a restaurant like literally over the fence here there's a restaurant and still you're cooking yeah we, we are having dinner in now honestly I've been kind of wanting to have dinner in for yeah. a while now because First of all, if we find food for me, I don't get full. <laughs> <laughs> and it's usually 
a burger. Yeah, and I'm so sick of burgers. Except for I still want the McDonald's make a vegan burger, but they don't have it in Italy. But this place is actually really Ooh, nice looking. It's a bit messy. <laughs> yeah, we, we have our. We messed up already. Yeah, we did. And as soon as we got here, we got like this really relaxed feeling. I don't know if it's because it's so tidy this place. All the places we stayed in have been clean and tidy, but yeah, but this is just really nice decorated, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. And not only are we in the center, but we are like it's actually a really private this place. Like there's no next door neighbors or anything. We're having past. So yeah, I think we're just probably gonna stay in tonight and then tomorrow we're gonna go explore this beautiful town of Bellagio. So here we have our pastas, he's got some ham, um, we've got beans, garlic, vegan cream, <laughs> pasta, i got mushrooms, tomatoes and ricola, which you're also gonna have. I'm gonna add those, I'm not this barbaric. <laughs> so good morning guys we were just on our way to go for a walk and go and get some coffee because I found a place yesterday that does at least vegan frothy coffees and I looked outside and it was pouring down with rain and thundering. So what are we gonna do now? <laughs> I mean, we got like one day here and... Of course we picked one day with rain <laughs> and thunder. Yeah, yeah. We need to check, Unbelievable. We need to check the weather if it's gonna continue all day or what's, what's the deal? I don't know what we're gonna do then. This feels a bit crap. Yeah. And I wanted a coffee. <laughs> so we just came back from a walk with Charlie. It wasn't raining, like we already thought maybe the weather forecast is wrong. But we just came back, <laughs> like literally just came inside and it started pouring again. Yeah, so how lucky is that? Yeah, it's pouring, I don't know what we're doing. So since it's been raining all day today and we have to leave tomorrow, I think the best thing for us to do is probably to go to bed early and then get up super early tomorrow to maybe have a chance to explore this town. Yeah. We won't have time to be to explore all the other towns. No. Sadly around not. Lake Homo. So that's a bit sad. But hey, it gives us something to come back to. Yeah. So, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning! It's a new day and it's not raining anymore, so let's check out Bellagio in 3, 2, 1.
So we just got our last oat milk cappuccinos in Bellagio and I would like to say that this has been the most dog friendly city we've been to in Italy. Yeah. Like everyone has been nice to Charlie and because in some cities they've been looking really angry and I don't know if it's because we haven't been wearing the muscle but no dog is wearing the muscle. No, but here it's like everyone wants to just say hi to yeah. Charlie. Yeah. Just like in San Marino, there they just loved him. Yeah. It was like the main attraction yeah. in the whole country, probably. But yeah, I really like this place. It's like as soon as we got here, I just felt so relaxed. Yeah, and it kind of has this calm feeling to it. This yeah. whole place. Yeah. Like, I don't know what it is. No, and I just love it here. Everyone is friendly. And I was saying yesterday that the lake is probably so blue because you come here and it takes away if you're feeling blue it <laughs> takes away all the blue <laughs> that might be it we would have wanted to stay one more night in Lake Como and I would like to say that if you go there go for at least three nights and not two like we did mm. because say rains one day oh you missed all of it mm. and like for us yeah and even if it doesn't you spend one day going to the different cities or mm. towns and one day you probably want to spend where you are so at least three nights I'd go for mm. we know for next time and there's always too little time to explore every, everything so. I know like this four week holiday is already five weeks we had to we had to stretch it out a little bit yeah and it's tight yeah anyways um, and um, I was quite amazed. I didn't know that Lake Como is actually the deepest lake in the whole of Europe. That's quite interesting. Yeah. However, it's disappeared like 4.6 billion gallons of water from the lake because of climate change. So what I understood is the lake actually exists because of the last ice age. Yeah, it comes so. from a glacier and river Adda. Yeah, so there's basically like water holding some of these huge rocks in place and yeah. when the water disappears they might collapse. Well they have started collapsing. Like yeah, them. at some places. Which is quite crazy, like 4.6 billion gallon. I don't really know what a gallon is, but it sounds like a lot. It is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, there you go. Stop climate change, people. And go to Lake Como before it's too late. So it's about one and a half hours, give or take, from Milan airport. And I read that the taxi from the airport to Lake Como is 120 euros. However, depends on where you're going there. There's so many towns. Like yeah, and the, the roads are really narrow and like takes really long to drive those roads. However, so. you can take a ferry from one side to the other. Mm. And the thing about Bellagio is, that's where we stayed, that Lake Como is shaped like a Y. And in Bellagio you can see all the arches, like where they go. Yeah. So I would recommend if you're not staying in Bellagio to at least take the ferry there. It was, what from what I saw, the most like the cutest town mm. however like we said we haven't been to the other one so we can't say no but i have this feeling that bellagio is probably like the highlight of lake como yeah it was it was just wonderful yeah so there you go yeah we're really tired so we're just gonna go to bed now and we'll see you in the next episode so remember like comment subscribe and no? <laughs>